Hi, welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're working on an older Pontiac, it's a 2001, it's a Grand Am, you don't see many of these around anymore, but basically I want to show you how uh, the problem that will happen with this car here is that they were driving the car, as they're driving they get a rattling noise in the, in the front and when they hit a bump. So I just want to show you uh, what to check and, and how to go about repairing it. Uh, this one is a fairly easy repair. After looking at it, it's, it, you can pretty much tell by this that the, uh, that the tie rod end, whether it be the inner or the outer, are, uh, are in the poor condition. So uh, let me bring you over. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, and uh, I'm going to wrap this job up and get it out the door. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel. If you like what I'm doing, give me a big thumbs up. Let me show you what I'm going to do. All right. Okay. This is the, uh, the problem this, this particular car is having. You can see this, this This is the outer tie rod end right here. Uh, this is the inner tie rod. So sometimes you'll have that play in the inner, but in this case, the play is here on the outer. You can see that movement in there. That's the noise that we're getting on this particular vehicle. Same thing on the other side. So uh, we're going to put this tie rod end on here, and then we're going to move to the other side and do the same thing on the other side. All right, the way you're going to do it is you're going to actually break this nut loose right here. Loosen this one up. You're not going to take it off far. You're just going to crack it loose. And then we're going to take this nut out right here. Uh, this is probably going to be about a 18 millimeter, so we're going to take that out. And we're going to lift this tie rod out, out and we're going to rotate it off. So uh, let's grab some tools, and uh, we'll come right back. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to just loosen that nut in the back over here that actually holds the inner to the outer tie rod. So we're just going to loosen that up. You're not going to take it off, you're just going to loosen it just a little bit. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the, uh, the nut on the bottom right here. Now, you can, you can um, remove it with a ratchet or you can remove it with an air gun. <laughs> just to save time, I'm going to actually do it with an air gun. So you can just hit this with the air and take it off. Now, a lot of times to take the, uh, the tie rod end out, you can use a, uh, they have different type of tools that you can use to try to remove it. Uh, one that we use here at the shop is basically a fork like this that we put onto the air gun and we hit it inside here and we knock it out. I'm going to show you how you can do it at home without having to, uh, to have that fork to do it. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to take a hammer and you hit it right here, a couple of sharp wraps with the hammer, and this will pop right out. So, here we go. And it comes right out. Now you can see that this is in pretty poor condition, and um, that's why we're going to be changing it, obviously. Now when you take this out, Count how many revolutions you take it off, how many times you turn it to take it off. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So we got like 14 and a half turns to get it to come off. Now, if you're going to you're going to have to have the alignment checked, but this will be fairly close for now until you can get, it, the, uh, get the alignment reset. Um, as you can see, this joint is in really, really bad condition. So let's grab the new one and uh, put it back together. Um, whenever I put anything back together, you know how it goes with, uh, with any kind of uh, rust. You want to definitely put a little bit of grease on it and then just I'm going to leave that nut on there because, uh, just because I uh, didn't want to take it off. Okay, it's fairly close. It locked right into the nut already. So now we know the alignment is going to be pretty close. Put 
put this through here. And now this particular um, tie rod end is a little different than a lot of them. It comes with the nut and it comes with a washer. And the reason you want to use this washer is because this is made of aluminum. And if you try to screw the nut in there, you're going to wind up eating into it because the original factory nut had that washer built right onto it itself. All right, so make sure you use your washer as much as you're tempted to throw it away. Don't do it. Screw that on. And now we'll grab a socket and we'll tighten it up. Now you can use a wrench, you can use a socket, you can use whatever you've got. You want to use a socket. I use a wrench because of this way here I can see where the where the cardigan pin is going to line up. I don't have to play around with it. through and bend it down like that and that's all set there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tighten up this um, inner part right here. Just hold this to hold this tie rod in and then tighten up the inner. Okay, it's nice and tight. Alright, let me bring you over and show you. Alright, so we have our um, tie rod end is through the knuckle. We put our washer on the bottom, put the nut on, put tightened it up, and also put the uh, cotter pin through. We installed a new grease fitting into the tie rod end. We screwed the tie rod end on and we tightened this nut up against the tie rod end. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the other side. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side and uh, that's it. We'll be all set. And obviously we're going to get the, re the wheel alignment uh, checked to make sure it's, uh, it's still okay. All right, thanks for watching. Any questions, any comments, uh, drop me a line. Be more than happy to talk to you about anything. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.